Hello everyone, Nashad here. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use AppThing in Xamarin Forms application. So I've created a page called AppThing page, which has got a stack layout. Inside the stack layout, we have a frame, and the background color is team gray, with a label and another stack layout, having a label for dark theme, and we do have a switch for that. Uh, before we get into the code behind, let's see the NuGet packages we need. So make sure your Xamarin.forms is up to 4.7 and I'd be using MVVM. Make sure you add this MVVM helpers by James Montemagne as well before we see how to use the app theme let's just run the code and see how it behaves without the theme so we do have a app theme page and we have a frame inside the frame we have a label and I've got another stack layout for the switch we will be using to switch between dark and light thing so to add theme in summer forms application first thing we need to do inside our app.cs we need to go inside the app.zaml.cs and before initializing any component we need to paste this device.set flags new string of type array and make sure we set this flag for app theme underscore experimental app let's save this so now that we have set this flag up we'll be able to use this app theme inside this background color so for the background color we could bind that to app theme binding and for dark we could set the background color to black and for light we could set the background color to say dark gray let's save it and let's see how we could use this switch component and use this handle toggled event handler to switch between dark and light theme so if we go to the code behind for this void handle toggled so we could say if e dot value so if our switch for the dark theme is on we could say app dot current dot user app theme is equals to OS app theme dot dark else you could just say it's light it's the same thing it is changed here for light so let's save it let's run the code so if we switch between this see we change this background color of this frame to black or dark gray so now let's see how to use the MVVM pattern to do the same thing using a view model so I've created a, a view model called my view model dot CS and that derives from base view model the new get package uh, we added by James Montemagno so uh, we could say bool duck theme is equals to false and let's make it private public bool duck theme Princesses gets return 
dark theme and for the set function we say uh, again a uh, dark theme is equals to value and we also call on property change event handler and name of uh, this variable so for using MVVM you could just simply copy and paste the code from here and we could say if value give it a small v means our switch is on then we could say the OS theme is dark if not it's light and to bind this to the MVVM uh, inside the app theme page we need to say binding context is equals to new my view model I've already imported my view model here so make sure you import that too let's save it and this time we're not going to use this toggle event handler view this is toggled and let's bind that to dark theme let's save it and run the code again okay we got an error that is So I've missed this colon after calling down property change event handler. Let's run the code again. So this time we are using the MVVM pattern to switch between the dark and light theme. So now that we have managed to apply the theme let's change the theme to dark and then close our app and let's reopen the app see it's gone back to light theme so we need to find a way of saving the users preference on this theme so how we could do that let's check so it's actually really easy uh, saving users preference using xamarin.essentials preference library so let's see how we could use xamarin essential to save users preference on app theme so inside xamarin essential click on preferences the first thing we could set a preference by preferences.set and we could name anything for our key and the value you could set that to any primitive types for example bool, double, int, float, long, string and that time so for our case we could set our preference.set dark theme is true or false and we could retrieve our theme by just calling preferences.set and passing the key name. So let's see how we could do that. So inside our myViewModel.cs, we no longer need this dark theme. So inside the get method, we could say return and we call preferences.get and then we give our key and name which is dark theme 
and by default we want to say the value is false we need a colon here and for the setter method after if calling this value here for the value we could set this preference which is going to be preferences dot set and then again we call it dark theme and the value we pass it the value so let's run the code we change the dark theme to true and let's close this and if we run the app again that should hold our preference which we set the dark theme to true so if we change that back to light and then get out of this app and then kill it and reopen it that should have our state which was set to light them so again if we change that back to dark and then kill the app and if we restart the app that should have our state which was set back to dark them yeah so let's do a quick recap so the first thing we have done is added this device flag for app thing experimental inside our XAML page for background color we are binding the background color to app theme binding for dark we are defining a background color and for light we are defining a different background color uh, for a big application we could define this background color into resource dictionary and we could just call the style that that way we could define the theme as well and inside the code behind of app theme page dot xaml we could either use this um, event handler for the switch to change the theme to dark to light or we could use mvvm and do the same thing using the MBBM pattern and make sure inside your app theme page.xaml.cs to bind this to your view model so that was it for this tutorial if you had liked it make sure you like share and subscribe and I should see you on my next tutorial thank you